I'm thinking a lot about migrants this St. Patrick's Day because I feel that St. Patrick himself is not only the patron saint of Ireland but might be considered a patron saint of migrants because he himself in many ways was both an immigrant and an emigrant. He was trafficked, he was an exploited labourer and I imagine that he can empathise with his prayers and intercession with people who are struggling because of displacement and migration in today's world. I have here a chalice which was made by the same person who made the Lampedusa chalice for Pope Francis and a silversmith Frank Cullen from Dublin and I hope to use this chalice at the St Patrick's Day Mass here in Armagh on Sunday morning. The chalice itself is made of wood from a migrant boat. You can see here what it would have looked like originally. But the wonderful way in which it has been sculpted into a chalice for the celebration of the Eucharist reminds us that the Lord is close to migrants. And I think we're all called to protect migrants, to promote their rights, to integrate them and of course to welcome them. So I hope that this St. Patrick's Day we will recommit ourselves to our country being a country of welcome, knowing of course that many of our own Irish citizens are leaving this island to go and find new life opportunities elsewhere, including many of our young people. I pray that St. Patrick will bless them all today and always. Banachti na fila padrik arav